Hello again, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. And uh, what we're going to do today is just set up a basic drum bus and apply some parallel or New York compression. Uh, very simple, straightforward. So let's start by uh, creating a bunch of audio tracks. Let's create four. Okay. Um, we'll also create a group to uh, route them to. So F4, add group, stereo group. In fact, we'll add two. So, and we'll call one drum bus. And we'll call this one NY compression. Uh, a lot of people seem to get mixed up. Uh, New York compression and parallel compression are the same thing. Sidechain compression is a completely different entity. Uh, we've gone into those videos previously, so check out my YouTube page for those. Um, so yeah, that's it. Right, let's open the pool, Control and P. I've already got uh, some loops in here. Let's just drag these in. Uh, there we go. So, okay. So let's just hear them all together and get. Pretty straightforward, four to the floor loop. Uh, what we shall do initially um, is, I mean, we can name them kick loop one. loop two and loop three so initially what we'll do is we'll send the loops to the drum bus so at the top where we can route our audio instead of it going to the stereo out which is the master we'll route it to the group drum bus group drum bus group drum bus and effectively now if we solo that Color that differently so we can see it in our mixer. So there you go. All the, all the percussion elements uh, are now added to the drum bus. So if we go into there, we'll maybe add a little bit of uh, compression. I'll just use the Cubase one. Um, put quite a slow attack, a slow release. Uh, we'll put that on peak. There we go, just to sort of gel those a little bit. Let's bring the kick in. So that's that's basically the percussion routed to a group. Let's just colour those so we can see what we're doing. So there's your percussion elements. They're all, these three elements are then routed into this drum bus. So we have control there. The beauty of that, as you can see, we can apply compression, reverb, etc. What we're going to do now is um, parallel or New York compression. So what we'll do is we'll actually route the drum bus out into another group, which is our NY compression. Turn that on. Uh, we'll put that to 0 dB initially, bring that down, and what we'll do is if we go onto the NY compressor channel, we will then add a compressor. I'll just use the inbuilt Cubase one again. Now what we'll do with this is we'll go massively over the top, we'll squash the living daylights out of it. Um, let's see. Peak. 
Now you can obviously see there, there's a massive amount of gain reduction. So now if I slowly bring this back up, there you go, you can really, really hear the squashed ones there. Now the idea, the idea really there is is for you to use your your ears and decide what's nice for you. Um, obviously, this is just a quick quick tutorial just to to show you how to do the routing more than anything. And of course, all your compressor uh, compressor settings could be altered to suit your taste. What I tend to do is I have a nice drum bus. I have them sounding really nice and tight and clean. Apply a little bit of compression and reverb on there. And then on the New York compressor, I'll slam it really, really hard uh, and then just bring up enough of it to suit. Um, the beauty of that is you tend to get all the, the transients and the really squashed elements and you can, you can get them to just brighten up and thicken up the whole drums. Um, New York compression or parallel compression doesn't have to be specifically just on drums either. Of course, you can do it on vocals or synths. Um, you know, it, it's up to you, personal taste. Uh, my one recommendation would be not to parallel compress everything because it sounds too, too much, too overbearing, but it works fantastic on drums and really nice on vocals. Um, so, just to recap, initially we created a few audio channels. The percussion ones are in orange here. We then routed those to a group channel, which we created by pressing F4. We created a couple of groups, uh, named them Drum Bus and NY Compression. So we routed the three percussion ones into the Drum Bus. We applied some basic effects there. And then via the send, we sent it um, to the New York Compression. And in that one, we absolutely slammed it to death and squashed the hell out of it. And uh, yeah, and applied that into the mix. And effectively, that's it. So thank you very much. I've been Mike Smith. You've been watching ADSR Pro and hope to see you soon.